Do you like anime? Well, good, because the Crunchyroll Anime Awards for 2024 are in, and today we're focusing on the best original anime, which is Buddy Daddies. <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. What is Buddy Daddies? I've never even heard of that. And, and until I've seen this list, I haven't heard of it either. So I decided to give the first three episodes a watch to see what I think. And, uh, yeah, you might not be happy with my answer. So is Buddy Daddies good? Well, I'm gonna just start with the basic just to clear it out of the way. Now, once you start watching Buddy Daddies, you're gonna think what everybody is thinking. Wow, this is, uh, just like Spy Family, huh? And you'd be kind of right, except... Buddy Daddies is a little bit edgier, and uh, by a little bit, I mean like capping people in the face edgier, okay? Like blood and guts and all of it. But of course, the thing that makes this anime stand apart like any anime are the main characters, Rei and Kazuki, uh, who are kind of the, the Buddy Daddies, if you will, that end up taking in this girl named Miri that's looking for their father, who they incidentally kill in the first episode, thus leading us on to the wild plot of this show. Another thing that truly sets this apart from Spy Family is kind of the background of Rei and Kazuki, they obviously have their own trauma, Ray dealing with a lot of trauma from his father, Kazuki dealing with some unknown trauma from their past relationship involving a kid, which I think makes the relationship with Miri a little more touching. Now let's address the elephant in the room. For me, with shows like Spy Family and Buddy Daddies, the biggest issue as a viewer for me is the kids. Miri in this show especially is unbearable ungodly annoying if this was my child i would regret having child this is just too much i can't handle it it makes me feel as if i'm going through a parent simulator just watching these shows while i understand it's the plot i get it if you just don't like kids in anime crying all the time don't watch this one because miri especially in the first four episodes oh my god so annoying i can't even describe to you how much i hated every one of her scenes i fast forwarded through half of them now let's say you don't hate rugrats like myself and you're okay with a show that's very very similar to spy family i would say buddy daddies it's a great show it's very watchable it's very entertaining it's paced well the characters are super super diverse and I can already tell just four episodes in, by the time we get to the end of the first season, there is gonna be a lot of tears being shed. You know when an anime is on its way to something and there's gonna be like a big payoff versus like when it's just kind of like, ah! well, we'll see where it goes. And Buddy Daddies is on its way to something. So if you need a big payoff in anime, this one could be for you. And that's all I really gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and that bell notification. Be sure to like and comment. I would love to chat with you and as always i'll catch you later weebs bye